Today we are going to talk about edema caused by decreased kidney excretion of salt and water. As we have started discussing edema and the different causes of edema, we previously discussed that there are a lot of factors which increases the causes of extracellular edema and we classified them into four broad categories in the causes due to increased capillary pressure, causes due to decreased pro, uh, plasma protein, causes due to increased capillary permeability and causes due to blockage of lymph return. Uh, we discussed in detail the cause of edema due to heart failure. Now today we are going to talk about cause of edema due to uh, due to decreased uh, renal retention, uh, due to decreased kidney excretion of salt and water or due to excessive salt and water retention by the kidneys. So what happens normally is that uh, the heart is pumping blood. The heart is pumping the blood. Blood basically goes to the uh, different organs. And uh, especially now we are going to talk about the kidney excretion. So we will mention the kidneys. Blood basically goes to the kidney. The blood, uh, the kidney basically filters the blood. Now each and every kidney, if cut, is basically made of millions of nephrons. This is the structure of nephron. And if we uh, cut the blood vessels, a uh, small blood vessels, an arteriole can be seen. The blood basically enters the kidney and inside the kidney it is filtered here and the, this filtered blood basically uh, the plasma filters into the Bowman's capsule. Now this Bowman's capsule has been enlarged over here and you see the blood, the afferent vessels are coming here and the efferent are leave it, leaving. So the filtrate, the filtrate basically goes through these pipes, these channels or uh, these loops. The different substances which are basically needed by the blood, they are absorbed into these blood vessels and the remaining uh, excrete uh, material in the form of urine is thrown out in the uh, thrown out of the body. So, heart is pumping the blood, blood goes into the kidney, inside the kidney, the, uh, all the nephrons, there are like millions of nephrons in the kidney. These uh, nephrons basically, the, uh, they filter the blood, they, uh, they then uh, allow the nutrients and the important uh, substances to be reabsorbed into the blood and the waste material goes out in the form of urine. Now, if any problem occurs, if any problem occurs in which this function of the kidney, for example, this filtration process has been uh, decreased or there is some problem with the filtration, then due to a lot of conditions, these um, the, the, the kidneys, the kidneys or the, the nephrons inside the kidneys, they won't be able to excrete the salt and water properly. So if there is excess salt and water and the kidneys which normally maintain the balance of salt and water in the body, that balance will be disturbed. So what happens is that that excess salt and water is basically added into the blood. It remains in the blood. Now once a lot of salt and water remains in the blood, inside the blood, the capillary hydrostatic pressure starts increasing. As we discussed different factors which basically increases the edema, so one of the most important factor was capillary hydrostatic pressure which do, uh, which increases if there is a lot of fluid and if it increases the fluid going out of the blood increases is more than the fluid entering into the blood. Now this is something which we have discussed previously a lot of times that these four basic forces are responsible for um, uh, for absorption and uh, filtering the fluid. So fil fluid filters, the plasma filters into the interstitium and then is absorbed. Now if this pressure, the capillary hydrostatic pressure, if it is high due to any vector as if we as we discussed previously that there are a lot of factors which can increase uh, uh, this pressure and one of the important factors is excess salt and water retention by the kidney which can occur in acute renal failure or chronic renal failure the acute renal failure has a lot of causes similarly chronic renal failure has a lot of causes now if due to any cause if due to any cause this failure has occurred and now due to any cause uh, this salt and water excess salt and water is being retained this pressure is increasing and the fluid is going out what happens is what happens is that this excess salt and water basically remains in the extracellular fluid. Now this is something which we have discussed previously that if excess salt or hypertonic saline, excess salt and water is added to the blood, it mostly will go into the extracellular fluid rather than remaining in the intracellular fluid. So you see here if isotonic fluid is added it remains in the extracellular fluid if hypotonic is added it may go into the intracellular fluid into the intracell into this inside the cells as well but hypertonic salines with higher quantity of salt it mostly lead to uh, the fluid being retained in the extracellular spaces which are basically the interstitium and the plasma so due to decreased excretion of salt and water most of the salt and water remain in the blood and ultimately remains in the extracellular fluid which leads to edema so that's how decreased excretion of salt and water basically by the kidneys lead to extracellular edema or excess fluid in the interstitium. Thanks a lot for watching the video.